Hi guys, it's Mark from Totally Silence Tech. Welcome uh, finally to episode four of Setup Refresh. Today in this episode, it's time to install my new monitors. And later in the video, I will also be announcing the winner of the Monix Nanos QG gaming mouse I talked about in the previous episode. First, before I talk about my new monitors, I thought I'd quickly run through my old ones to give you an idea of why I went ahead and upgraded to these new ones. Previously I had one ASUS PG278Q, a 27 inch display supporting a resolution of 2560 by 1440 and 144 hertz with G-Sync. I paired it up with two ASUS VN279Qs, supporting a resolution of 1920 by 1080 and a 60 hertz refresh rate. It was great at the time for productivity, especially when I was editing my videos. Unfortunately regarding gaming, these three monitors were kind of pointless, as Nvidia Surround doesn't work, in other words I couldn't play games on all three of these screens at the same time. Playing driving games on three screens is absolutely epic, at one point I did find a hack that allowed Surround to work for a while, but ultimately it was a pain trying to get games to work on these three screens due to the fact they all have different resolutions. Having a taste of triple screen gaming, especially on games like Project Cars, with a steering wheel was unreal quite possibly the greatest gaming experience I've ever had in my life, so I just had to upgrade. Enter my new monitors, free Acer Predator XB271HUs. The specs on these beasts are on another level, 2560 by 1440 resolution with a maximum 165Hz variable refresh rate thanks to G-Sync. In my own personal opinion, and it's just my own personal opinion, that these are the best 27 inch 16 by 9 monitors available on the market right now. That's also including the PG279Qs as they're awesome as well. I managed to pick up these three Acer monitors a lot cheaper than the 9Qs. When I was trying to buy three of them I just couldn't pass up on what a great deal I got. Moving on, installing these monitors was an absolute pain, and it's the reason why this video has taken so long to get uploaded. I had the mounts still on my wall so that wasn't an issue, but one problem I had was because of the bezels at the bottom of each monitor. Once you try to pair up two or more of these monitors together, the bottom bezels stop the monitors sitting flush next to each other. There's a few millimetre gap. As you can imagine it doesn't look very nice at all, and it's a huge oversight from Acer in my opinion. I was determined to not let that put me off, the left, right and top bezels on XB271HUs are nearly non-existent so I knew if I could just mod the bottom bezels in some way so they sat flush next to each other they would look absolutely awesome. So I went ahead and sacrificed one of the front bezels, yes I know I'm absolutely crazy. When you're building a setup like this there's got to be no limits to achieve the look you want. After removing the front bezel I carefully sanded it down on each side at an angle with wet and dry sandpaper and after a lot of test fitting and re-sanding eventually I managed to get the monitors to sit right next to each other and you can imagine guys how much of a pain in the butt that really was but now I have three beastly monitors with no bezels and it looks absolutely fantastic and I'm so happy with how it turned out. Gaming on any three monitors is epic in itself, but when it's on three 1440p panels with a combined resolution of 7680 by 1440 and most importantly at 165Hz with G-Sync, that's on another level to anything I've ever tried before. With my two GTX 1080s I was running project cars at max graphical settings hitting around 90 to 100fps. It was godlike. The gameplay was incredibly smooth without a single stutter or hitch in sight. G-Sync was really working its magic. Anyway, we're going to move on to the main event now of my whole monitor setup. And boy oh boy, it's going to be pretty awesome. Right, this is my overhead that I'm using with my gaming setup. This is the PG348Q, supporting a resolution of 3440 by 1440. It's IPS, it has G-Sync and a 100Hz refresh rate. I know the first thing people are going to say, why on earth would you spend a thousand pounds or a thousand US dollars on a monitor and have it stuck up there as an overhead? Well, what about this?
When I first heard about the PG348Q, I knew I had to save up and get it. I had an ultra wide before, the LG 34UM67, but that didn't compare to this in any aspect at all. I absolutely love ultra wide gaming, but personally, I prefer a single 16x9 monitor when I'm playing online shooters. I wasn't willing to give up that super smooth 165 hertz either. The ultra wide is 100 hertz, and yes, I can notice a difference between 100 hertz and 165 hertz especially in first person shooters also triple screen gaming for driving games is so good and much much better in my opinion compared to a single ultra wide monitor so with the 21 by 9 ultra wide and three 16 by 9 monitors i literally have every single area covered and i've probably made the craziest monitor arrangements for gaming ever sure i could have got some big ass 4k tvs but that would have meant no g-sync plus they would have been limited to 60 hertz and input lag can be pretty bad especially if you're a hardcore gamer like me i did think about getting three ultra wides at one point but that would have meant i would have only have had 100 hertz instead of 165 hertz not forgetting that games look pretty stretched out when you're playing on three ultra wides and in my opinion it looks a little bit ridiculous it's just a bit too too much and a bit too wide and I don't think I would have had any room left on my desk either. Talking a bit more about the mount that I've used with this ultra wide, I couldn't believe it actually worked. It's amazing that I can bring the PG348Q down to eye level. There was no way I was spending as much money as I did on this ultra wide and having it stuck up in the air all the time as an overhead. It would have been completely pointless. Being able to bring the ultra wide down to eye level is a killer feature of my gaming setup. It literally takes seconds to pull the ultra wide down and to put it back up. Playing games like The Division Rise of the Tomb Raider, the ultra wide really shines and provides a real unique experience. The image quality of this monitor is also on another level to even my free Acer Predators. As previously mentioned, I prefer a single 16x9 monitor for online FPS shooters, triple screens for racing games, but for everything else, the ultra wide owns and reigns supreme in every aspect. I just wish it was 144 Hz. If I had though to pick one single monitor, Monitor that I love the most is definitely the PG348Q. Its only downfall is that it's only 100 hertz. So there you have it, guys. My new quad monitor setup. I still have a lot to do. Cable management, which will be coming up in another episode. You probably think this is all a little bit too overkill. Personally, I love it. I play a lot of games, and sitting in front of four screens like this is absolutely heaven, in my opinion. Plus, they help with productivity, my editing, especially something complex like intros. The next episode of Setup Refresh will be all about my new desks. I have two white gloss ones that I can't wait to show you in the next episode and things will really start moving on then. Rounding off episode 4 of Setup Refresh, I'm going to announce the winner of the Monix Nanos QG gaming mouse and that is Ashley Shetty. Massive congrats man, it's an awesome mouse and I hope it improves your gaming setup. And don't worry guys, if you didn't win, I will have some more giveaways coming up real soon. Hope you've enjoyed episode 4 of Setup Refresh. My name's Mark from Totally Silence Tech. Goodbye.